So I asked you all to submit me your design portfolios and the other day I sat down and went through I think about 40 or 50 of them and highlighted some of my favorite ones that caught my eye. I'm going to go through some of the ones I highlighted, dive deeper into them and review them. I'm excited to make a video like this and feel free to let me know what you think about these portfolios in the comments. Let's get into it. The portfolio we have up first is this one by Sam Thomas and this is a designer that I really like on Instagram and Twitter that he posts all these cool kind of layouts and stuff. I really like the way he uses his type and images and he does a lot of cool stuff that I think that is stuff that I would like to do as well. His type and layout has a lot of good hierarchy and he's really good with textures and I really like how stuff looks printed. And this layout's kind of cool like since his stuff is just big kind of layouts and images and I think it's nice to kind of just lay it out like this. Even though in my own portfolio I like to prioritize stuff by more project based and group it together. I think for this kind of stuff this works well. Um, um, the only thing I would say, I guess, like this isn't really a design um, flaw or anything, but a lot of this stuff is uh, only concept work. And I feel like if I was looking to hire a designer, I would like to see a little bit more um, real world work or at least differentiate between the two. It's kind of hard to tell which ones were made for an actual client and which ones weren't. Maybe if there was some kind of separate like page, one for concept work or personal work and one for real world client work, I think that would work well. And you click into these projects and they have another big kind of image layout. This is really cool. I, I think it was made with cargo. I think this is awesome. Nice little simple about page. It has access to the newsletter, which is great. Way to contact. I would maybe put my email as well. And yeah, check out Sam Thomas. He makes some cool stuff. I always like seeing his posters and layouts on IG. This next one is Joseph Hillenbrand. I think this is his logo and it's something like this and you can like build it. Oh yeah, you can see it right there which is kind of cool. I mean, it's it's kind of just like a little gimmicky game or whatever, but it's kind of cool little function to have on the site, you know? I like the hovers with the orange too, and I'm kind of biased because I really like the color orange. Okay, so you have the info. He has his podcast, uh, Instagram, Behance, all that. That's cool. Nice little business cards. So see, I like this, how this is miscellaneous, and this is just some random poster stuff. I like how that's spread out like that. Then you have the full case studies as well as the logos. I'll show you his logos first because I think they're really cool. Kind of reminiscent of some of the old more minimal like logo modernism stuff as well as kind of hybrid with some newer like Aaron Draplin-esque type little marks. Like I always really like this dog one as well as this, uh, I think it's like a T-Rex type one. And this is cool, laying out your projects like this. I like using the big logo as the forefront. This one's a little bit different, huh? I usually see this stuff so clean. It's weird seeing it with a more rough edge. Let's take a look at one of these projects real quick, Merit. So I like how this is laid out with the left aligned over here and the description right here. Cool little logo, nice like, kind of corporate style design. I like this with the branding. I think this is a cool way to lay out the projects. I think this website and portfolio is a good example of how you can lay out projects, like actual projects, not just a bunch of random stuff. And I think it's good to show your thinking and clients want to hire you for more in-depth stuff like this. My Haas Grotesque, shout out. This is cool how you made the pattern with the actual logo, same width and everything. So yeah, that took a little bit to load. I would make sure, I'm not sure what size images you're using, but maybe optimize them a little bit more because I thought that was the end of the page for a second. Cool little brand at guidelines. I, I like these little layouts that are illustrations. This is cool. Next up we have Adam Adam to Adam Tarasowicz. Nice little layout info. That's kind of cool how it just pops in. Architect by trade, graphic designer by passion. I do like how these pop up. This is cool. Sometimes it's a little bit more like decorative than I would like. It's funny because I feel like I'm such a, like I like experimental stuff and working analog and things with my actual design work and kind of like traditional when it comes to my portfolio layouts for some reason. But I do like this. This is cool, this Manny made uh, pots. I like how the images just come right here. It does feel a little bit like, I don't know if this is a branding or just the posters or if you made the logo or or what. I do think it, it looks cool, but I would like a little more context because I'm a little bit confused about kind of what it is. Uh, same with this one. I don't know. I like these and I think they're cool little like visual identities. I like the layout. This would be cool if pregnancy was maybe moved up right there, but I just don't know um, 
these all are starting to feel like kind of similar and I don't know what was the role exactly in terms of, you know, you can see right here, but if it was just the posters or you made the whole brand identity or there was a logo that you made, you know, and so on. This is cool. This Arc City. I do like this. I, I like how this is laid out. This is something cool. I think this, if you expanded this branding out more, you could do a lot of cool stuff with it without a home. I like the overlay little graphics keychain. This is cool. Posters. I feel like this page, I don't know. I may, I may take it out since you don't have that much work it kind of feels not that important because there's only like a few posters maybe once you get more to throw in it could help these are dope this is very reminiscent of when i used to work at a architecture firm they did all kinds of these like low fidelity watercolor renders like this overall though i like this layout and i could definitely tell your architect with how they really prefer this minimalistic black and white aesthetic in my experience christian ardner this one's dope i remember seeing this one when it got submitted on twitter really cool illustrations i really liked how a lot of these look. I'm gonna open up a couple of these. Simple layout, easy to go through. Um, just scrolling down, the only thing I would say is maybe you have too many projects, which isn't a bad thing. Of course, it's cool that you've done all these projects. I think it's good to want to show what you've done, but maybe narrow it down to like nine to 12, maybe like 14 max. But maybe have some of the bigger in-depth projects here and then you can have a separate little page right here that says illustrations or something and it's just like gallery you can scroll through. This is dope, this Crocs pop-up post I really like the style. The typography is cool. This, I think this is hand drawn. I think this is a big style that clients are really going for. I think when you're an illustrator, being freelance works really well because people really want to bring in like a new fresh style to their existing business rather than changing their branding or like traditional design. This is dope too. I like how this is backwards. Nice little realism, even though it's more abstract. It seems like you have a lot of cool different illustration styles and I think that's cool. Here's some more collage type stuff. Pebble. I, I really like this kind of more abstract illustration you do. One thing I'll say that I'm not liking about the portfolio personally is the fact that these big poster shapes, I can't just look at it all at once. I have to scroll through and I don't think that's just because of the size I'm on. No, even like this. So maybe optimizing it more for like view, make the container smaller so you can actually view this all at once without having to zoom out like that. I think that could help because you're wanting to show the full poster at once. Other than that, I feel like some cool illustrations and I really like what you're what you're doing. Here's outdated. This one's familiar. You know, he's been around the Discord and the community a lot. I know he does a lot of cool web design and stuff, so I'm pretty sure he coded this whole website himself. This one's pretty dope. I do like this. I remember looking at this uh, originally though. Nice little kind of description down here. And one thing I'll say is, I think you really have to optimize for web. These images are taking, a, like I think, way too long to load when you click on some of these. Someone that's trying to look through your portfolio real quick, especially an employer, they're gonna be pretty impatient. Like that's just way too long. I think you probably have these around like, you know, the big, big JPEGs or big PNGs. Just optimize these for web. You're not gonna lose that much quality. Pretty like small how much quality gets lost. It really doesn't matter. Nice variety of stuff. I don't know what some of it is. I wish some of them had more context. I like this kind of this tab, acid tab, like kind of graphic is cool. Nice vintage Motorola design. I think um, I would like to see also like, I'm pretty sure you do web design, right? And that's most of your stuff you would do. I'd like to see that too somewhere. The about page. Okay. Tells you who you've worked with. I do like this kind of hand, handwritten touch. Gives it a nice little feel. I'm pretty sure you're only like 18 or something, right? So it's a really good start, man. So this one, uh, this dude on Instagram, I know he does a lot of merch and cover art and stuff for different hardcore bands and metal bands a lot. I like how this is split up. Merch design. This is cool. Just seeing the big shirt. Personally, I'm not a fan of these ones though that you have to scroll through like this. I like when it's just a down scroll because I don't know. It's like when you get, look at those big articles and you have to scroll through. It's like 10 uh, places you should visit this summer and you have to scroll through each one rather than scroll down. This is really cool. I like this layout. I know you're um, kind of OG in some of this merch design world and a lot of it has like a similar look to it these days, but I feel like I'm able to kind of branch out from the kind of mainstream a little bit and still keep some of those styles that the clients want these days. This is dope. I like the, how these ones are color graded with the blue. Dope NASCAR, Stone Cold. Like this stuff's cool. And then you got the cover art. Yeah, these are dope. A little more hardcore and punk and DIY and I like this. And I know you did a similar thing to my Black Note project, I believe, where you did, yeah, this kind of Blue Note stuff with hardcore and metal bands. Yeah, I like these. I love this dog illustration with this kind of type up here. These are cool. This one's awesome with the 
different shade of blue with the knock loose. And I'm pretty sure you probably use the uh, Kenny Burr, all right, Midnight Blue as the reference. One of my favorite Blue Note albums. Yeah, this shit's a banger. Check it out. This is cool. And then you have all the clients here. I like this using images of the people and kind of laying them out. And this looks like something you can just add more and more to or replace out. I like this artwork, probably one of my favorite designers on Instagram. I haven't looked through his portfolio much, but he makes some of the dopest posters ever. Like definitely go check out his Instagram heart.work. Man, like he just captures my love for type layouts, posters, old cars, mini trucks, like color, just all this cool shit wrapped into one. And this isn't even his client work, I don't think. This is just all personal shit. Like, look how cool this is. Dope collage cut out, all these nice textures. Like this, this, I even, yeah, I commented right here. But yeah, definitely go check this stuff out. But let's see what he's got in the portfolio. First of all, this portfolio design is really dope shows what music he's listening to i really like this kind of moving stuff it's it's complicated but it's still like digestible and simple this is cool how you can look through all these there's some collage stuff made back east nfl got a lot of projects here i gotta figure out which one i want to look at i think this acura one's dope i remember seeing the commercials i think for this uh it's kind of like an anime they made for the new uh nsx wow yeah this is cool, reminds me of some Twitch, like stream package type stuff. These illustrations are awesome and the layout is super cool. I could see why they hired you with all that car stuff you do. Yeah, this is dope, man. And the fact that you're working on these cool big projects in addition to all that, posting all that cool stuff online is nice. Yeah, and here's some more stuff for Acura. This is more reminiscent of the style I see you work in. It's cool that they let you kind of get crazy with it too. And I'm sure you had to rein it in a little bit, but these are nice. And I think he has even a section for just his posters, which I think is awesome. This background. I love this stuff. Oh yeah, it looks like down here too, it says it's made by Cargo. So maybe if you guys want some cool, simple layouts like this, consider checking out Cargo for Website Builder. Obviously not sponsored or anything, but just a thought. So let's check out one more of these projects. I think it was this one that was cool, the Platoon. Yeah, these are dope. I love these kind of abstract layouts with the type and weird photography effects and really cool work. Go show some love. Connor Rafferty, designed for the digital experience. I think I remember looking at this one, super cool cool 3d stuff i think uh, i really like this layout too it's nice and simple it has all the stuff you should go to yeah i like this resume type thing too yeah hovercraft studio they do some some cool stuff recognition this is cool i like the in terms of the actual portfolio design i like it i want to look at one of these projects microsoft pride this is dope man i I'm always Cinema 4D and Octane. I'm always very jealous of, uh, maybe not jealous, but just kind of like fascinated, I'd say more by this 3D work. Cause not really jealous cause I don't want to get into it, but I do really like it and admire it. This stuff's cool. I wouldn't even know where to start with this, but all these textures and everything are awesome. Cool cause too. Love all the colors, man. Like these images are nice. I like how easy this kind of project is to digest too. And you got the kind of stand the header that stays with it. I always like that moving creatively. This looks cool. I'm pretty sure I watched a little bit of this. Hold on. Yeah, really dope kind of crazy colors and stuff where this ball rolls over. This is amazing. I think I read this was your thesis or something for master. Yeah, this is tight. I wouldn't even know how you made this. Hopefully this music isn't copyrighted or anything. Maybe I'll mute it. But this is sick, man. Really like this. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments and I'll do more. The like button too if you got to this part of the video so far. Ignacio Mate. Yeah, this stuff's crazy 3D shit too. I just want to show you one of these projects. I remember looking at this. Really cool blender stuff and I really like how this stuff's laid out. It's nice and simple. Let's look at this real quick. Just take a look at this. Really cool. So realistic. This reminds me of uh, Gox, that other YouTuber who does the pictures of him painting with the camera on the brush. I believe you people are out here making this stuff and I get proud of making a poster with some type on it. This shit's crazy. It's 
It's really cool. That was sick. Shout out Ignacio. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more. Also, if you want to see me go over my own design portfolio and give you some tips for yours, you can check out this video here. That's it for now. See you next time. Peace.